What is going on, uncreative power gamers? It's Yoji. You want to know what the most overpowered thing is that you can possibly play in Prophecy League? Well, you came to the right place. It is time to look at the overpowered cookie cutter meta builds of Prophecy League. When the league started, there was pizza everywhere. Pizza Blast does obscene damage in a large area with very little gear investment. Turns out that is all you need to make a strong skill. Combined with the Elementalist Ascendancy class, you can proliferate the huge ignites from your pizzas onto enemies for better AoE clear. You also gain 50% reduced reflected elemental damage on you, because the only weakness the build has is it deals too much damage. Also, with built-in prolif, the Elementalist can make any damage dealing skill in the game work to a pretty solid extent, even elemental fucking hit. Also, if you are playing an elemental build and it is not an elementalist, you are probably not trying hard enough. Another very meta skill right now is Blade Vortex. Not only does this skill provide a very unique and fun playstyle of running through packs while blowing everything up around you, the damage of this physical spell is also completely absurd. This allows you to basically use Beyblade Vortex in any build imaginable, because with very little investment into damage, you can just destroy packs and bosses. This makes it an ideal spell to use that otherwise would be severely lacking damage, such as a max block build, just watch out for thorns. For melee, there is good news, it is actually finally viable. And by melee I mean Earthquake, and by viable I mean Voidheart. This ring has a questionable power level, as it is best in slot for any physical melee build. And why use any other melee skill when there's Earthquake? It offers the highest damage and the biggest AoE of all melee skills in the same skill. Ok ok, there's also Shield Charge, which got buffed this patch. So you can now be a pinball if you want to. And most pinballs seem to be using face breakers. For range attackers, the best build is Frost Wall. Combine it with a 5 or 6 linked AoE overlapping attack, such as Kinetic Blast or Lightning Arrow, and you got a strong build that can one-shot most bosses and packs alike. Talking about one-shotting bosses, if you want to farm any boss in the game, just play a Bladefall Miner. Yes, Mines. Turns out when it comes to killing a single enemy that barely moves, mines can actually make use of their huge more multiplier despite their clunky mechanics. This build can instantly burst any boss once it is properly geared. There are links to guides for all mentioned builds in the video description below if you want to start abusing one of these overpowered builds. Subscribe for more Path of Exile content, I'm Yoji and I will see you soon.